Hello there everyone, welcome to another review. I'm here with my good friend Angel Munoz. Hello everyone, how's it going? How's everybody doing? Hey Angel, how, hope you're doing well man. I'm doing really well. That's good, well, as you guys know, as you read the title, as tell, yes, I am doing my Alamaniacs review. Now, I know a lot of people are doing the review about it. Whether if you guys have seen all the episodes or as you have seen like first episode of it. I know Angel, he told me he saw the first episode and that that's okay because um, I know a lot of YouTubers like uh, Nostalgia Critic, uh, Daily Under, um, you know, a lot of YouTubers are really doing their reviews about it and they're talking a lot about it. I've seen a lot of posts on Instagram, Facebook, um, a lot of media about it on Twitter about it and... There's a lot of changes about this. So, you know, Angel, why don't we tell them what uh, Alamaniacs is all about? Well, okay. Well, the Alamaniacs are about these... Uh, it's a 90 series about these two, uh, these three creatures named Yakko, Wacko, and Dot, They're which are two Warner Brothers and only one Warner sister. And their goal in life is to make the show entertaining because what... Because without them, their show their show wouldn't. So they had to. Their their plan is to escape the water tower, and and have to hijack whatever show they're on, and they have to make it really really funny, and which really makes which results of them making pop making themselves a lot more popular. Right, and they try to keep them in the water tower, but. I guess not because they just go whatever. It's like here in movie set, in public, wherever. Of course, you had those other segments like the Pinky and the Brain, which they made a return into the series. And of course, you have a Slappy Squirrel, um, Martha, and yeah, Martha and Mindy, Rita, Hello Nurse. Hey, just name, just name all the all the good '90s stuff that they have, and it's definitely in there. I mean, wherever they go, it's the Yellow Maniacs for you. And um. But now, you know, after so many years, we finally get the reboot, which, you know, there's a lot of reboots out there that's been good, that's been kind of bad. But the Alamaniacs reboot is the best reboot I have seen very so far. Even for me, who who never grew up with the 90s, but lost a lot of 90s shows like the Alamaniacs, I really love the new series very much. Me too. Me too. I really like it. I really love it a lot. Yes, it's it's great. Um, you know, we get to see a lot of new faces, uh, a lot of old characters coming back, especially with the first episode. A lot of things changed with the Warner Brothers uh, studio. Of course, there's a new executive, and, well, they tried to catch up what was going on with the Century ever since, you know, their show ended in 1998. And <laughs> I really love the Cash Out song, especially when they're talking about the presidents and they're talking about Trump. You know, if he's still president till this day, because the writers type it all the way in 2018, <laughs> and you all know that the election was really right. a big hassle. And, you know, I'm not trying to go with the politics side or nothing, because I don't really deal with this stuff but it yeah, I don't deal with that either. Right. And it, it's really funny that they mentioned that. Yeah. It's it's a really nice touch. A really nice touch what yeah. they did with it. Yes, and of course you had the, the Donald Trump uh little cameo in the series too. But it's it's just amazing how you put these nineties animation characters fitting with the new generation which didn't feel bad at all. It's just amazing. It really felt touch, and it really uh, goes into what the Alamaniacs really are. Though, like I said, a lot of reboots kind of had their ups and downs, but the Alamaniacs didn't fail that. Though it's, it's been noticed that there's two seasons. This is already the first one, and the next season is coming out next year. So I am really excited for the next season, Alamaniacs. I have that watched... Blows me. As well as I am, too. I have watched all of the episodes. It's really great. It's really funny. After a little bit of that, we cut to the Pinky and the Brain, which I know a lot of people love Pinky and the Brain. Of course, they have their little spin off uh, series, too. And, you know, Pinky's always like in every intro, So, Brain, what are we going to do tonight? And then Brain's like, 
the same thing. I, the same thing we're gonna do, Pinky. Try to take, take over the world. world, and then the theme song goes with the Pinky and the Brain classic theme song, and then it goes to the skit of what they're doing, and you know they trying to explain what they're trying to do, and it just easily backfires. <laughs> But, you know, the running gag of every skit, and I think a lot of people claim it was aggravating when Brain was telling Pinky, like, are you pondering what I'm pondering? And then Pinky would kind of go on with it, and then he will, like, zoom out or something like that. And then... Hmm? Uh, sorry, no, I was just saying Narf. Oh yeah, Narf, and then, uh, and then at the end of the scene, and then he's like, we gotta prepare for tomorrow night, and Pinky's like, what are we gonna do tomorrow night, Brain? And then, you know, same thing, try to take- recite the same, same line that you've seen in the, the intro, and then- Right. The, uh, in, the, the song, uh, started, uh, started playing at the end. Right, it's the same thing, it's just, you know, the same thing, take over the world, and then it goes back to the Alamaniacs, and, and it, I mean, I love the first episode very, very much. I really love the first episode, though I get it, there's a lot of fourth wall breaking, but it's the Alamaniacs, you know, they they were meant to do this fourth wall breaking stuff, even though they know it's a reboot, they know they got so many minutes of skits for each episode, and I love the first one, there's like saying, you don't have to use up all your words, because... It's, it's okay, first episode, first reboot, kind of nervous, don't use up all your words, and thought he was trying to say it, and then <laughs> Yakko and Wacko are just, you know, just going around, talking about it, and then he hit the sledgehammer on them, and 20-something years later, she still got it. <laughs> yeah, and what's funny now is that the thing is, with the, the writing staff, um, the same people who also did um, Family Guy wrote this show, and it really shows here. Like, it, like all the jokes, seem, there's a lot of, a little bit of fourth wall breaking here and there, a little occasional adult joke there, and a good line, and stuff like that, and, and it really hits the target, and even, even Steven Spielberg knew that it would be a great hit for not just kids, but for adults and throughout the entire world that grew up with the show back in the 1990s, even even when it started back in 1993. Right. And obviously, you, I, I do recommend checking out this amazing, uh, amazing uh, series and all. But I really like, you know, the little references that they did, like Yakko, did the reference of the 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 country of the world song telling that the wacko saying that the yakko saying that you know about everything mr country of the world song and it's just and then there's the uh and then there's the uh jurassic world uh i mean jurassic park parody at the beginning yep. of the episode and of course a lot of old characters come back in too which you know i'm not really going to spoil a lot but yes some of the old characters do kind of get come back again but as you kind of see from like the old trailers, you get to see the Hanna Barbera characters again, and and the Looney Tunes character as well. Yeah, you know they're in the series. It's really amazing to see them too. It's like man, this series is just really great. Um, I really loved it. I love the references. I love the jokes that they put in. I love the fact how they said that they love violence in the kids show. Yes, yeah. you heard me correctly. They love violence in the kids show. Yeah, um, of course Jim Henson doesn't really like, uh, even Jim Henson doesn't like uh, violence, but kids do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's like, you know, cartoons, you can't really do violence because, you know, today's society with kids and everything. But, you know, it's just that they stick to where they are. They stick to the 90s, to that uh -huh. part. And that's what I really love. And also another thing too, I know a lot of people were really, really, really kind of like want to cancel the series because of the Johnny Depp uh, poster thing, which, you know, which is labeled telling lies. I was like, oh. yeah, I mean, everyone knows I came from that Johnny, Johnny uh, song, which I know everybody really hates. So, yeah. Uh, probably the better ones would have to be, 
where the one the cartoons with violence, probably the better ones would have to be the Ninja Turtles and uh, the Simpsons, really. Right. Yeah. A lot, a lot of big cash on that one, actually. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, they get a lot of other reboots in Hollywood that was mentioned, like Fuller House, um, uh, I can't think um, of Um, and, uh, uh, I don't know, I, I believe, uh, 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 Batman, I guess. Yeah, uh, Batman. Batman. And then, um, uh, uh, DuckTales and, mm -hmm. uh, Looney Tunes. Which, which is you know, definitely yeah. amazing. Which is definitely amazing, really incredible. That they include that and stick to that instead of like leaving it out and claiming it as just a new reboot show and thinking, yeah, the 90s fans are gonna catch this reference. But I mean, they did. Obviously, if you guys grew up with the show, then you will know. It's just amazing. And it's really amazing to see this show actually came back into a revival. Yes. Um, we definitely want to recommend oh, and uh, honestly. All the voice actors came back to do the show, like uh, Rob Paulson, mm -hmm. uh, Jess Harnell, Tress McNeil, Maurice LaMarche, Frank Walker, all, all those guys, especially especially the late, great Frank Walker. Right. Um, I might want to, we, we can't, we, we might want to recommend this to you all that we, we can't recommend this enough, but right. we could recommend this to all the all the '90s fans who grew up with the show, and and you will definitely love it. However, if you see if you recommend if you recently discovered Animaniacs and you haven't seen the '90s series, you might want to wait until until you catch. You might want to try to catch up, but then you might have to wait until until you you might want to have to catch up with it until you get to see the new series. Right, and of course, too the theme song. Also, did kind of change too. So, so I mean, hey, he's right. If you haven't checked out the '90s, then definitely give it check it out. You know, if if you recently discover it, then check it out. If not, then I hey, we do recommend checking out this brand new series. It's really awesome. It's really great. Yes, it's really great. Nice touch. Yes, and if you guys have seen the '90s or the new version, let us know in the comments below what your guys thoughts of this brand new Alamaniac series and if we do if they do get a season two which character do you want to see uh coming back we love to hear from all you guys yes but anyway we're gonna really wrap up this whole review um thanks again angel for joining in, in this review even though you have seen the first episode glad you're loving it so far no problem no problem i'm it's i'm really glad to be here great that's it's Great, that's really great, man. Hopefully, we do get you put you more in like some of the Muppet reviews that I've been doing. So you know, like um, December coming up. So hopefully, we can do like some holiday Muppet reviews. You know, you're down for that. Yeah, I'm down for it. All right, cool. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel link will be in the description below. And if you haven't checked out Isle Maniacs, I I recommend getting to check it out. It's really great. But thank you guys so much for watching. Keep on staying, enjoying life. Keep on staying safe. And you'll see you guys next time.